Fraternal Order of Police is calling for immediate changes to working conditions inside of the Fayette County Detention Center. The union recently issued a no confidence vote in the corrections department and is now inviting Mayor Linda Gorton into the conversation. Georgia Ree Godfrey joins us now and has a closer look at the problems at the jail. Fayette County Detention Center employees say they're underpaid and overworked. So now the Fraternal Order of Police is calling on Mayor Linda Gorton to make changes to increase morale and decrease job vacancies. So we've officially entered into a crisis type situation on that staffing shortage. The Fayette County Detention Center is short more than 100 employees, including much needed corrections officers. Now, Urban County Council members have an urgent request for Governor Andy Bashir to examine staffing levels at corrections facilities across the state. Time is something that when we're talking about the safety of those corrections officers and the safety of the public and the inmates, we don't have a lot of. Staffing levels local attorney Scott Crosby attributes directly to current workloads. You cannot have these people day in and day out working three, four, five days in a row of overtime. Many do not know that they're going to be hit with overtime until 4 o'clock in the afternoon or 12 o'clock at midnight or 8 a.m. in the morning when they are expecting to go home. Working Conditions Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 83 says need to change immediately before the detention center loses even more employees. If you're not happy where you work, you're not going to have a, have a good job experience. You're not going to have a, a job well done. So Purdue and other law enforcement officers are calling Mayor Linda Gorton to the table to have a discussion on how to improve conditions for both staff and inmates at the detention center. A call they hope is answered sooner than later. When you have those uh, factors there, then you're looking at a possible, you can't predict it, but a possible catastrophe, a uh, critical incident happened. The conditions at that facility for not only the individuals who are serving the public, but for the inmates is in a crisis mode today. We had an officer who was assaulted, who was in an interaction, was at the hospital today, fracture, a fracture. Mayor Gordon's office tells me the mayor is working to improve the jail by hiring additional officers, and since a new union contract was ratified in February, has been able to hire 17 new employees.